Hey guys, Nigerians go talk, say so not when Musa no go see forget. Every day by day we hear different, different versions in this country. This is really shocking. The say Bob Risky responsible for rigging 2023 election, human rights activist drops one share, fires heavily at EFCC, and waiting in talk go shock you. And these have generated reactions from Nigerians. Nigerians don't they talk left, right, and center. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. The former chairman of the National Human Rights Commission, Chide Odekalo, has strongly criticized the recent arrest of Nigerian cross-dresser Idris, famously known as Bobby Risky, by the operative of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, denouncing it as an abuse of power. Bobby Risky's arrest took place at a Pinnock estate in Lagos State on Wednesday, April 3rd, and he was subsequently detained in the EFCC Lagos Command Office. The EFCC, in a statement shared on its official Instagram page on Thursday, revealed that it had initiated an investigation into Bobby Risky for allegedly spraying Naira notes. The investigation stemmed from a video that surfaced showing Bobby Risky spraying and flaunting words, uh, words of a new Naira note at the Aja, at the Aja Kaju movie uh, premiere produced by Nollywood actress at film One Sekumo Lekki Lagos on March 24, 2024. Expressing his view on the matter, Odi Kali took to S platform to voice his concerns, emphasizing that the power of arrest and uh, prosecution is a responsibility entrusted to public officials and should not be weighted to target individuals based on personal preferences. He further highlighted the disparity between the AFCC action and pressing national issues, such as the recent switch in electricity tariff, uh, suggesting that the agency's focus on Bobby Risky might be misplaced. Odekalu pointed out the irony of people applauding the EFCC for apprehending Bobby Risky while ignoring the broader uh, socioeconomic challenges facing the country. In a statement, Odekalu stated the official EFCC should be okay, should be the persecution of those who they don't like. It is Either the EFCC evidently idle or this is clear abuse of power. Okay. He said this is clear abuse of power. So he further highlighted the disparity between the EFCC's action and pressing national issues such as the recent switch in electricity tariff, suggesting that the agency's focus on Bobby Risky might be misplaced. Odikalu pointed out the irony of people applauding the EFCC for apprehending Bobby Risky while ignoring the broader socioeconomic challenges for face, facing the country. In a statement, Odikalu stated, The official EFCC should be ashamed. The officials of EFCC should be ashamed of themselves. The power of arrest and prosecution is a public trust that should not be weaponized for the persecution of those whom they don't like. It is either official EFCC is evidently idle or this is clear abuse of power. He continued, Yesterday, a Nigerian governor and uh, Hink the the uh, energy uh, by power, Hink energy beyond the reach of most Nigerians. Today, official EFCC 
orchestrates a a lynching of Bob Risk. He added, people who can no longer afford electricity are hailing them because apparently Bob Risky is responsible for their poverty. Bob Risky is responsible for rigging your elections, corrupting our courts, looting your treasure, sending the Naira sky high, recruiting and paying Boko Haram and the bandits. He must be the problem with Nigeria. Conclusively, Odekalo's remarks underscores the need for law enforcement agencies to prioritize issues of national importance and exercise their powers judiciously rather than engaging in what he perceives as obituary and misplaced persecution. Well, the, the truth about what happened is that a majority of Nigerians, you know, are not pleased with Bob Risky style of life, you know, changing yourself from a man to a woman. They see it as a, ta a taboo. It's not our tradition. And they also see it as a threat to the, to the young generations. Yes, not really because Bobby Risky, uh, Bobby Risky was arrested because of, you know, uh, the misuse of Naira according to EFCC. I don't think that is even what Nigerians are, are really uh, looking into. Because if you want to look into the, the misuse of Naira notes, majority of politicians will go for it. But Risky is not even the only one who is guilty of that. Nigerian politicians also do that. Yes, they spray money everywhere on the ground. So why Nigerians are just applauding the EFCC? They will tell you is Bobby Risky is long overdue because of you know, is 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 kind of life, is 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 way of life. This is not our tradition, and they are afraid of the you know the young generation. So I believe that is the reason why people are saying, "Oh, thank God, Bob Risky had been arrested." If you look into the issue of naira misused, Bob Risky will not be the only one to go in here. You understand? So, guys, what's your take on what he have just said, please? Share your thought below the comment section. If you're just joining us, I beg subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you.